Hi, I'm Kate and I'm an artist who likes to play with colour and pattern. This is one of my paintings. You might have got this activity pack from school or you can download it from the website. So let's have a look inside. <clears throat> this one's about shape and form in my paintings. If you have a look, what shapes can you see? What do the shapes make you think of? There's all kinds of shapes. There's sort of circles. There's like, I don't know, flower shapes. There's also, when I look at my own paintings, I see new shapes all the time. And what kinds of lines can you see? Because obviously when I paint, I then outline the different shapes because they're all in different colours. So there's all sorts of different lines and different way I've drawn on them. Um, there's tiny ones, there's the black, white, all sorts of colours. And what are the lines like? Are they, are they, do I tend to work with wobbly lines or zigzag lines or swirls? <clears throat> I mean, for me, I think they're mainly quite what I would call straight with a little, they're quite swirly, aren't they? Perhaps maybe there are a little bit of zigzags here and there. So you have a really good look at the front of your booklet and see what you can pick up. And then we've got this piece on this side and we're going to want you to draw your favourite shape in the middle of the page. And then I have a bigger shape around the first one. And this is a bit like how I would make my painting. So I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm thinking, I'm going to draw a, this is one of my favorite shapes. So I'm going to start off like that. I'm going to do a shape like this. It's a bit like a sort of, I don't know. It's just a bit like a bird. It's a bit like a, I don't know, a little, hand shape or something. And then I'm going to then add, like I would do in my painting, some more shapes, so we filled it all in. So these can be any shapes you want it to be. But think, keep looking at my painting and get inspired by maybe what I would do. So sometimes I leave a little space in between a shape. So it just depends on what you're thinking to do. I'm copying a little bit of what I can see there as well, just to, Give it a bit of a link to the painting. So it's linking it all up and fill all the white space in that you can. And inside the shapes, you can do more shapes. I, I really like, as you can see in the painting, I tend to put in more and more of these little circle shapes, like little eyes. I quite like to do that. So I'm going to do more and more and more. And it's for me, I suppose, when I'm doing the paintings, I'm seeing it that these little circle shapes or maybe how the painting grows, like little cells or little eyes or little new areas. So put as many lines in as you can. Think about the lines. What are they like? Are they, we talked about the zigzag or the curly shapes or the straight lines. And they can be whatever you would like them to be because it's a, an abstract painting. So it's all about color and shape and form. So I've filled up quite a lot of the space now. And now I'm thinking I will colour in a little bit of that, but I'm gonna put in a few more lines because in this one, it'd be nice for you to colour in the separate shapes within the shapes in different colours like I have done. So if you look here, you've got a turquoise blue and then a lilac colour and then a yellow and then a black in the middle. So there's all these different, so they're not, even if, it's, if there's a solid colour, there's usually something on top with more colours in it, which gives it the vibrancy. So let's have a little go at that. So I'm going to put some yellow in that shape there. And then some blue. And again, think about the colour, you know, what are your favourite colours? And try and keep keep using different colours. Like I, I mean, I repeat colours, but there's always a real mix of colours in my work. Make it really, really make your picture really bright and vibrant and colourful. Nice pink. You have to have pink. And I might do all those shapes there in the pink. So you can think about that. You can think about your design and how you want it to look. What areas you want it to be. And I might have to put yellow in the middle of those. Because yellow and pink 
are very, as you can see, they're very and yellow and red. They really stand out. And so if you build up your picture as you go, adding all these colours in, you'll end up with a really nice finished artwork that's a little bit inspired by mine, which will be amazing. And we would love to see your artworks if you want to share them on the website. I'm not going to finish this paint, this piece, because I think it'd be nice if it inspires you to do, and I would like to see your finished ones on the website. I'll just do a few little more so you know the idea and what we're thinking about doing. But yours is just, look at the painting that I've done and inspire you to do your own patterns. And that'll be amazing.